What's going on guys? Phantasm Mask here, and today I'm going to be doing something a little bit new with my channel, and uh, that would be a figure review. I've never done a figure review before, and I've wanted to do them for quite some time, but sometimes figures can get expensive. In fact, I only now own two figures, and uh, the one that we're going to be taking a look at today is a relatively recent release, and that would be, well, it's not in the box right now, I've already taken them out, but um, Venom Snake from Square Enix's Play Arts Kai uh, line here. And um, I talked about this figure in a Winter Pickups video recently about how I passed this one up for the Ground Zero Snake because I thought that this one looked cooler. And once you take him out of the box, and I've already got one accessory on him, um, this is what he looks like. Um, here, let's see if we get a close-up on the facial sculpt, maybe, if my camera wants to focus or not. There we go. Just kind of rotate him around a little. I don't know, maybe if I... Oh, that's still not going to work. Okay, autofocus isn't going to be working with me here, but overall this is what the figure looks like right here. He's a pretty tall standing figure. He's a lot taller than my uh, Robocop, which I was surprised. I have a Robocop 3.0, and uh, I thought he was going to be the same size, but uh, no, he's a little bit bigger. I'd say he's about an inch taller than the Robocop 3.0. Now, I'm going to set him down here for a second. We're going to go over the accessories that come with him, but uh, before that... Um, as you can see, he comes with an AK. He's got uh, two, actually uh, three sets of hands here. Um, I think, yeah, he's got uh, a few hand interchangeable hands for the robotic arm here and a few for uh, this hand over here. Um, fully articulated, really. I mean, like, this is some pretty insane, like, kind of stuff that you're able to do with him. Like, there you go. Whoa, yeah, something like, or even wrong direction, whoa, like that, that kind of stuff. Um, so he's a little bit more articulated than my uh, Robocop 3.0. Here on the side, he has a pistol holster, which uh, I have been having a little bit of an issue with. Um, even after I put the handgun inside the holster, it doesn't seem to want to stay, so that just kind of stays open. Um, there's also something that I'm not sure if this is supposed to be part of the costume, or if it's broke, or something, I, I don't really know. But there's this little tiny strap that's just hanging down here and I'm not exactly sure if it's supposed to be like that if any of you guys out there own this figure let me know because I've never quite seen anything like that before um, he has interchangeable heads as well he has an extra head which we'll go ahead and demonstrate right here you can just it's it's on there pretty tight it's kinda hard to get off so there we go able to take his head off here and also you're able to remove this scarf section here and there's another uh, sort of scarf which go rides up a little bit higher and I'll go ahead and I'll get those heads out here from the box so right here you have a much bigger scarf which will go ahead and hopefully apply the right way or no that looks like it's the wrong way so we'll go ahead and apply that which I think is on there correctly and then the other head which is him wearing goggles and still has the eye patch on we'll see if we can wrestle that in there maybe <laughs> maybe again uh, the this is the first time that I've had a figure quite like this quite detailed I don't have as I mentioned before I just have that Robocop 3.0 anyway you, you get the idea the head's supposed to be in there I'm not really gonna deal with this this scarf kinda gets in the way of trying to apply the head so but you have that option just in case so we'll set them down here real quick and uh, some of the other accessories that come with this particular figure are the little tiny iDroid device, which if you're familiar with the game or uh, Ground Zeroes at all, this is like the replacement codec mechanism. Um, comes with a survival knife, which he has a sheath for it on his back here, right, right there. And you're just able to slide it right on in there and stays right in. Uh, again, he comes with a pistol, a little tranquilizer pistol, which you are able to put into this holster here. But as I said before, I've been having some problems with this particular holster, and it just won't stay in. So I just kind of keep it, keep it open at all times. Uh, as far as detail goes, this is an incredibly detailed figure. Uh, I kind of wish that my autofocus would work because I really want to show off this emblem here on his shoulder, the diamond, there we go, that diamond dog's emblem right there. I That's probably one of my favorite little pieces about this 
particular figure was the attention to detail with that diamond dogs uh, really really cool um, little detail there uh, it all in all it's a really really cool looking figure uh, let me just put his scarf back on here scarf wrapping whatever you want to call it get him all set back there we go pop his head right back in hear that snap and even his face the face sculpt is uh, I would say is an exceptional exceptional face sculpt I'm not sure if I can zoom back in on it again get him any closer or anything like that now I guess autofocus really just does not like one-eyed people uh, but Take my word for it, the facial sculpt on this is incredibly detailed. There's even like some scars and things like that that you can find on his face. And Go ahead and take the AK out of his hands. And uh, you can look on his arm here and you might be able to see it. Uh, there's some scars running up and down his arm as well, which it's an incredibly detailed piece. Uh, I would say it's a lot more detailed than uh, even my other Robocop figure. Uh, all in all, rather pleased with this particular figure. However, when I received it, this AK right here, you could probably tell it looks a little bit off. And that is because when I received this particular AK, um, the barrel attachment came off, and that's a bit of a downer. I, I don't really know how to reattach this properly. I don't want to like use super glue or something like that to uh, ruin the figure. But other than that particular problem, even the, the weapons are incredibly detailed. Uh, which again, autofocus is definitely not helping me with this at all. Um, but take my word for it, this is incredibly detailed uh, weaponry here. Um, the eye droid has a little bit of detail into it. Uh, probably the pistol is the least detailed part of the figure. I uh, wasn't really too impressed with that particular uh, sculpting. It's just, it's very plain looking. There's no detail in it, whereas if you take the pistol from my Robocop 3.0 figure here, for example, it's incredibly detailed. It has logos on it, like the Omnicorp logo, and I kind of expected with a figure like this, a much higher end figure than that 3.0 up there, to have that kind of detail. I guess it just wasn't in the cards. Um, all in all, I'm rather pleased with this figure. It's the uh, first of the Metal Gear Solid series that I've ever owned, and uh, I would say that I picked a very good one. I still want to get my hands on a Solidus Snake, but he's huge. I really don't have any space for him up here. And as with all Play Arts Kai figures nowadays, they're all coming with the display stands, which the display stand, uh, the first time that I've ever had to, I, my brother and I worked on dis building this display stand because it's a piece of junk, frankly. Um, if you have another display stand, I highly recommend using that and the one that comes with the Play Arts Kai figures because they're plastic junk. Uh, in fact, I have an incomplete stand over there, mostly because the parts that came with it are incomplete. So keep that in mind. If display stand, find something else. Um, I am a little disappointed that the uh, AK barrel came off, but uh, leave a comment in the section below of the best way to put this back on because I don't want to try to use super glue or something like that and have it go on crooked. So I'm sure this has happened before because Play Arts Kai figures, especially back when they first started, weren't exactly up to snuff from my understanding and uh, had bad face sculpts and even bad weapon sculpts. Um, but this Venom Snake figure here is an awesome awesome piece. Uh, glad to have it as a part of my collection. Um, really impressed with this particular figure and I'm glad that he's a part of my collection. So uh, if you have any questions about this figure you can leave a comment down in the section below. Um, this is Again, this is the first time I've ever done one of these reviews like this so uh, forgive me if you're just like why did you why didn't you show this or whatever why don't you have high-risk uh, pictures of this mostly because I don't have a camera to do that kind of stuff. Um, but all in all, rather pleased with this figure. It's awesome looking and uh, honestly it just makes me more excited for the Phantom Pain to come out in 2015. So thanks for watching. Again, if you guys have any questions, leave them down below. Phantasm Mask here, signing out.